This is National 5 Revision, and what we're looking at here is Pythagoras' Theorem in uh, circles. And um, with this topic here, hopefully this is going to help you out with uh, some of the work that you're going to have to be uh, doing for your uh, January and February assessments that should be coming up pretty soon. Right, let's have a look at uh, the first question. Quite a complicated question, I think, this first one. Uh, the second one a wee bit more straightforward, but let's look at the, the more complex one first, okay? So, usually when we, we've got a question of um, kind of Pythagoras in a circle, well, obviously the question doesn't tell us anything about that at all, but uh, the question's usually about either finding the width at the bottom, okay? Or it's about working out the height or um, maybe just a value that might be somewhere in, in amongst the, the circle that's in here. Let's see what we're doing in this question here. So the diagram opposite shows a tunnel uh, in the shape of part circle, okay, with a radius OB. So from O to B, so I guess this would be B down here, so that's uh, OB, okay. The height of the tunnel is 10 metres high. So 10 metres we know is the height of the tunnel and we have to calculate the value of x. So that x value there is actually the uh, radius that we're looking at. Okay, so from O to B is the radius and that's what we're trying to work out. Right, so, so this one here, as I say, it's uh, reasonably complicated. Um, the reason for that is because there's some values that are missing that, um, that aren't really helping us, but we need to do a bit of uh, thinking about that one before we go forward. Right, so let's have a look at this. So the way I think about the, um, the, uh, the circle that we've got here, or the part circle, okay, is that I've got a radius from there to there, okay? The radius is the same no matter where I go from the center of the circle out to the outside. So that there is still the radius there, so that's still x. All the way around, that's still x that's there. And uh, if I, the one that I'm really interested in is the vertical height that's there. So from there to there, that there is also going to be the value of x. Okay, because it's the radius. That's just the radius that I'm looking at there. Okay. Right, so what I'm really interested in doing is looking at for the, uh, the height of the... Um, the, the tunnel and the height, I would also need to consider this size that's here. Okay, and this is where it's starting to get a wee bit more complicated because this size here is not given to me. I know this size along the bottom here, from there to there, it's going to be half of the, the base of the, the tunnel and a half of the base is just going to be six. So this size here is going to be six and we're working in meters here. Right, so what I'm trying to do is to piece together a small triangle that's here. So I'm going to draw it in in green. So here we go. So this one here, and it's down to here, okay, and it's uh, across here. So it's this triangle here that I'm going to be using. And uh, usually when we've got a we've got flooring, we're trying to find the height, and in here this always makes a right angle. So that's going to help me out. So it's right angle to um, uh, triangle work. It's either going to be Sokotoa uh, if I've got um, an angle, so it'll be a trig ratio, or with this one here, it's just a Pythagoras type equation. Okay, so if I look at the height of the tunnel, so the height of the tunnel here is ten. Okay. So if I think about the this distance from here to here, that must be 10, and I'm going to take x away. So it's uh, going to be 10 take away x that that's going to be there. Right, let's let's just write that in. So this height here, just from the, the uh, center of the circle to the floor of the tunnel, is 10 take away x meters. Okay, that's what that's going to be. Right, so I'll just write meters there as well. Right, so let's see this, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put that into a Pythagoras um, statement, and we're going to see how this one works out for us, okay? So what we're going to do, first of all, is I'm going to say it's by Pythagoras theorem. Right, by Pythagoras theorem, and the way I'm going to start this off is just looking at the, the longest side, which is always across from the right angle. So I'm just going to start it off by saying that x squared is going to be equal to, and what I've got is, I've got two of the shorter sides here. So what I'll say is that it'll be one of these sides, so it'll be 10 minus x squared, okay? And then it's going to be adding on to that, I'm going to add on the 6 squared. 
Okay, so quite a wee complicated um, Pythagoras statement from there. But uh, I should be familiar with uh, multiplying brackets out, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that out as a, um, a, a kind of foil type method, if that's the one you're used to. Or if you're used to just squaring it straight from that bracket, you can just go ahead and do that, which might be the uh, an easier option to do. And then I've still got that plus 6. Uh, squared on the end there, which is just 6 times 6, that will be a 36 that goes there. Right, so let's multiply this bracket out. So I've got x squared is equal to, so 10 times 10 will give us 100, okay? 10 times the negative x will give me negative 10x. Negative x times 10 is going to give me a negative 10x again. And negative x times negative x will give me a positive x squared. And then I've got the plus, and that's going to be 36 that appears there. Okay. Usually when I get to that type of stage, I'm thinking I should be making up a trinomial. Okay. Um, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. But what I'm going to do here is to, um, to try to get everything on the one side. Because I might think it's a trinomial. I'm going to subtract x squared from that side. OK, so I'll have zero on that side there, which is pretty good for me. And I'll take away x squared from this side. OK, when I do that, what I'm doing is I'm eliminating the, the x squared from there. Oh, I'm eliminating the x squared from there as well. So let's see what we've got left. So this is zero on this side here. That's going to be 100. I'm going to gather these together. So that's going to be give me negative 20x. OK, these get eliminated and that leaves me with a plus 36 that appears there. Right, so I've not got a trinomial. OK, quite often you do. So that's a thing to consider when you're working through this type of question. Um, all I've got is I've got, uh, I've just got uh, negative 20x. Um, I don't want that on the right side of the equation now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 20x from it. Uh, no, I'm going to add 20x onto that side. So that will eliminate there. If I do something to the right hand side of the equation, I must do the same to the right, right and left side. OK, so on the left side here. So what I've got here is I've got 20x is equal to um, that one there gets eliminated. OK, and I've got 100 plus 36. That will give me 136. So now I've got 20x is equal to 36. And what I'm going to do there is just to solve that, I'm going to divide this side by 20. That will get eliminated there, and it will leave me just with 1x. And I'll divide this side by 20 as well. And that should give me my final answer. So what I should be left with is x is equal to... So if I divide uh, 20 into 136, what I should get is... Uh, so if I divide it by 10, first I've got 13.6. And if I half 13.6, I should get 6.8. Okay? And what we're doing is we're working in metres. So I'm going to put in metres there. So that's 6.8 metres there. OK, good. So so that's me worked out uh, what x is equal to. But um, that, that should be that should be it. That should be my, my final answer. OK, what, what I could do there, I could uh, sub substitute that back into Pythagoras to double check it to make sure it works. OK, so I could do 6.8 squared and subtract uh, 6, 6 squared from it. And what I could do is I could do a double check to see if that works out to be um, a, a 10 minus x. If it equals that, then pff, I've got I've got the right answer. But uh, that's all I've been asked to do in that question, and that's where I'm going to stop. Okay. Right. The second question on uh, Pythagoras in the circle, I think, is just a bit uh, more straightforward. Right. So what we have here is we have um, we've got another similar type of shape that we've got here. Uh, the diagram opposite shows an elaborate entrance door to a stately home. Uh, the door is in the shape of a circle. So it's a circle, or it's a part circle really, isn't it? Centre O with a straight edge along the bottom there. Okay. Given the information in the diagram, calculate the height of the door. Right, so we're after the height of the door, right? So what I'm interested in there is, if I'm interested in the height, the height is going to be, remember that we could say that the radius goes all the way around. So it doesn't matter where from the centre of the circle out to the circle, that's the radius. So that's two metres there. It doesn't matter where it is, but if I'm thinking about the height, I know that that bit there is going to be two metres. OK, so that's two metres already there. OK, the bit that I don't know is this bit that's here. 
I'm just going to call that x for this moment in time to try and work that out. So to work out the height, I'm going to work out x, okay? I'm going to add it on to 2, and that's going to give me the height of this uh, door. So I know that where this line meets here, it's going to be at right angles, okay? And what it makes up for me is a nice, neat, small right angle triangle that's here. So there's my right angle triangle, just in green. Just going to go over it a wee bit. Okay, there and there. So this is a triangle I'm going to work out, um, and I'm going to use Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so by Pythagoras theorem, Okay, here we go. Right, so right angle triangle here. Um, what we've got is that's 3.2 meters all the way across there. So half of uh, 3.2 meters. This one here is going to be 1.6 meters. Okay, that's 1.6 from there to there. Okay, 1.6. So it's a shorter side than the triangle that I'm trying to work out. The right angle is always pointing across to the largest side. In the triangle so what we'll go for is so i'm going to go for x so x squared it's a shorter side so i'm going to start with the largest which is 2 squared and i'm going to subtract 1.6 squared from that one there okay and what i should be able to do then is to to work this question through and uh, hopefully get our uh, final answer from there right so this will be a calculator question so what we'll do is i'll bring in the the calculator and I'll show you what we're working on here. So 2 squared is going to be 4, okay? And 1.6 squared, so let's see what that's going to be. 1.6 squared, okay? And that's going to be equal to, if I press the SD button, 2.56, okay? 2.56, okay? My preference really in the calculator would be to put in this whole thing here. So what I would do is I'd put in 2 squared, and I would subtract from that 1.6 squared, okay? Press equals. And what I really should get is 1.44, okay? So that's what I would put into the calculator, and I would jump to this line here, 1.44. Right, so that's what x squared is equal to. It's not x squared I'm after, it's x, it's the value of x. So I'll take the square root of 1.44, and since I've got a calculator, what I'll do is I'll just um, press the square root sign, okay? And I'll press the answer button just at the bottom here, which pulls in my answer. Okay, that I've had previously, and I press the equal sign. So that should give me an answer of 1.2. Okay, so that would be 1.2, and that's going to be in meters. Okay, so since I've got 1.2 meters for the value of x, so this is equal to 1.2 meters. So to work out the height of the door, okay, so the height is equal to so it's going to be the radius, so it's going to be one of the radii, radius, plus the x value that I just worked out there. So the radius is going to be 2, plus the 1.2 that I worked out for the, um, the x value, and that's going to give me 3.2 metres. And that's going to be my final answer. Okay, so we've had uh, two questions there. The first one was uh, reasonably complicated, involving a bit of um, a small bit of uh, algebra that we had to work out there, but it unravelled quite nicely. Sometimes that may come out as a, um, a trinomial or a quadratic type that you would have to solve. Um, but um, the second one here, relatively straightforward, and uh, that's the type of question that I would be expecting that I would see in uh, any exam that you, you may have on this type of question. Okay, so hopefully this has helped you with uh, your revision and uh, good luck.